What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be doing the best squad for 500k MT. To be completely honest, I think that I've been using this squad a bit and I've been using my like 35k budget squad. I honestly think that the difference between a 35k squad and a 500k squad is like 10 points max. Like, I don't think, honestly, I don't actually think this squad is that much better than using the 35k, using the best possible 35k squad. And that's just a testament to what 2k have done. They've released so many good budget cards. So even though this squad is expensive, it's the best squad for 500k, which a lot of people are asking. I would still always suggest for you guys to um, go with the 30k squad because the difference is minimal. Like 30 to 50k squad. The difference is so, so minimal. I did make a budget squad video earlier today. And later today, I will be doing a, a top card through under 10k MT. But anyway, that's not really the point of this video. This is a 500k squad builder. So now we are going to get onto it. So... At the point guard position, we are going to be running with a small forward, and it is Grant Hill. And I know, obviously, a lot of you guys are going to want to see a point guard, a point guard. But if you are spending 500k MT on a squad, you are you don't want to be guard. Like, if, if you're spending 500k, you got to do what's OP. There is no point using a point guard when all of a sudden you're going to come up against... I don't know. You could come up against Ruby Thonmaker, a point guard. You're going to come up against people ruining Bruce Bowen, a point guard. Your point guard won't be able to score on these 2 KMT. Heck, there's even a Ruby 2 guard that'll be in this squad later on that's super, super cheap and can lock down most point guards. Using a point guard, a point guard, like, I'm sorry, there's just no point. If you are handicapping yourself, and I know you say people are saying, oh, you shouldn't encourage it, adapt or die. That's my logic. Adapt or die. Adapt to the meta or you're going to lose. There is no point telling people to try not do what the game allows them to do. Adapt or die. But anyway, now we're on to the two guy position. <laughs> That's the kind of mini rant over. And at the two, we have got a actual two guard. Really good, about 35-ish KMT. Diamond J or Smith. I know a lot of people have his better version. This guy's insane. He's got Hall of Fame Minimalist, Catch and Shoot, and Deep Range Deadeye. Also is a great three-point shooter, great mid-range shooter, and a great dunker, as well as being a solid, solid defender. This card does not represent 2018 J.R. Smith, and a lot of people are saying it's from previous years, but he's wearing a Nike jersey, it's 2018 J.R. But um, Grant Hill, I forgot to mention it, is probably the best pink time in the game. The weird thing is, is that he has no personality badges, so Clutch Performer doesn't really uh, kick in, which is a little bit annoying on Microwave. However, um or spark plug however he's got unbelievable mid-range unbelievable three ball great driving dunk can speed boost one, an unbelievable block steal on a shot contest good rebounder great speed speed ball acceleration unbelievable out quickness unbelievable defender like they made they had to make sure his intangibles were as low as possible his low post defense like he was 40 and his post hook was 40 in order to make him a 98 overall and take away his personality badges this card is unbelievable at the three we have got a card um i was gonna put in the 94 overall Kawhi leonard but i just realized that it's literally the same price 95 overall you know they feel the same 95 overall is a li little bit better i think you guys all know what this card's gonna be like you can shoot the mid you can shoot the three post hook is actually quite decent so post fadeaway is quite decent even though it's not as good as his pink diamond he's a good dunker he can speed boost he's also an unbelievable defender great steal and shot contest great lateral quickness as well and it's just a really nice glue guy for your squad at the four, we have got, in my opinion, one of the best power forwards in the game. It is Diamond, Chris Stapps, Porzingis. So Porzingis has got four Hall of Fame badges, Catch and Shoot, Tire to Score, Pick and Popper, and Deep Range Deadeye. And he's also got 16 gold badges, including Difficult Shots, Limitless Range, which I may have put on him myself, thinking about it right now. Maybe he has gold Limitless, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, he's got a good post hook and fade away. He has got a great shot mid-95, great shot three of 94. One of the best releases, if not the best release, period, for a big man. Got a great free throw rating, great signing dunk, decent driving dunk. He's also got a good block rating, decent shot contest, great rebounding stats, okay speed, speed ball acceleration, especially because of his height. Not great, but not awful lot of quickness. Good on ball defense and low post defensive IQ. However, he is 7'3, so obviously he's going to really, really outperform these stats. He's just basically a demigod. At the center position, we are going to go with one spot where I feel we can really save money is in the center position. And I'm going to start off with Don Maker. Like, I know when you're looking at centers, you can look at the pink diamonds. I don't think there's any... Obviously, Greg Oden is a guy a lot of people are going to use, but I think Don Maker is the better offensive card of the two. And then, also, I really like David Robinson and Sabonis, who are just a little bit too expensive for this squad. Robinson's not a bad card by any means. Really, really nice. And again, I feel Don Maker brings a little bit more on offense. However, on defense, it leaves a little bit to be desired, but it's not bad at all. 
Thon Maker, if you put a shoe on him, can speed boost, which is huge. He has also got an 86 open shot three, a good off dribble, and good contested shot three. He's got some crazy animations as well. Like he can hit step backs in people's faces. It's nuts. He's also got an all right, but not great post game. He's got a 87 block. Decent rebounding stats, got good speed, speed of ball and acceleration. Sorry, great speed, speed of ball and acceleration for a center. Not the best lateral quickness and not great low post defensive IQ, but a decent block rating makes up for that. Off the bench, we have got at the one Clyde Drexler for about 65k MT. You still can't go wrong with this guy. Great release, you got great shot made, great shot three, great dunker, can speed boost. He's also got a great steal and shot contest, really, really fast, great laterally, and an unbelievable defender. Like, you cannot go wrong with Clyde Drexler. Then we have got a small forward, a diamond one, for less than 20k MT. You can actually get at this stage a 99 three point shooter with base eight and Hall of Fame minimalist and all the shooting badges for like 20, less than 20k MT. That's nuts. And, ap ap and apart from that, he can also speed boost. He's moderately fast and not the worst defender in the world with 88 lateral quickness. So this card is a steal. And at the three, we are going to go with a guy who I believe is literally just Kawhi Leonard, but maybe better. This card may be a better diamond Kawhi Leonard. And it's an amethyst that I mentioned earlier on in the video. It is Amethyst Bruce Bowen. So Bruce Bowen, 87-99. He has got three Hall of Fame badges, pickpocket, pick dodger, and defensive stopper. Are they the same ones as Kawhi? No, I think he has mid-range Jedi. Yeah, he's mid-range Jedi. So he's got pick dodger as well, which makes him probably a better defender. He has got a decent shot mid, but a great shot three with an unbelievable release. 94 shot three is great. He's got a decent driving dunk. He's got 86 ball control, so he can speed boost. He's got 97 shot contest, 98 steal. A decent speed and uh, speed of ball and acceleration. Well, if you want to run him as a point, as, sorry, as a ball handler, his speed of ball leaves a little bit to be desired, but great speed and acceleration. So if you want to run him off, he's perfect. Insane lateral quickness of 98. Great on ball defense of IQ of 98 as well. And he is 6'8", so he is big for a wing. This guy is the perfect 3 and D guy. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He's like 3K MT. That does not change the fact that this card is honestly worth about 30, 40 KMT. This card was out three or four weeks ago and was a 94 overall instead of a 92 overall. If they boost his intangibles, it would be about 40 KMT. At the power forward position, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This guy still has got base 11. He's still less than like 6 KMT. It is Tom Gugliata. Yeah, I know this card's been out a while. I know he's not the best stats wise. But again, as you guys can see here, he's played 63 games for me, averaging 10.6 points per game, which is a serious amount of points for the true this many games. Base 11 shooter, good in the post. He's fast, a great dunker, and a decent rebounder. A really, really good guy in this game. And center position, again, another place you can cut corners because, again, I feel like there's not that big a difference between paying 3K for a center or 200K for a center. And I'm going to go with the Ruby Mobamba. Because it's a 500k squad and I want to get into people like Grant Hill, Porzingis, who are like legit players, and Clyde Drexler, I want to get a really good team. The places you can cut corners really are 3 and D guys like Bruce Bowen. Gugliata is just insane. And then the two centers, you can definitely cut corners. There's not going to be very little difference between these guys and spending, say, 15, 20 times as much as these guys cost on other players. Mo Bamba, again, he is averaging 9.7 points per game for me. He's got a great mid-range, great three ball, great release. He's also an unbelievable shot blocker, the best shot blocker I've used in the game this year. Great shot contest, great rebounder, and is solidly fast for a center. Decent enough lower quickness. Last year off the bench, we are going to go with a Ruby. We're going to go Thurl Bailey, obviously just the GOAT. Not the most expensive, still less than 2 KMT as far as I know. Great three-point shooter, great free throw shooter, even though he literally couldn't shoot in real life. He is decent enough block rating. He's also got good speed and acceleration and insane lateral quickness as well as being 6 foot 11. Then we have got the guy who I was saying you may as you can run a point guard, Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart has got pick dodger, charge guard, and defensive stopper Hall of Fame. 6-4, a money release. He's also got insane uh, three-point shot of 89. Because of his release, it's insane. It's not obviously the best rating, but he doesn't miss when he's open. Decent mid-range shot as well. Got a good dunk of 85. He can speed boost. He's got a great shot and S and steal. He's also got great speed, speed ball, and acceleration, insane lower quickness, and is a lockdown defender. And is like one and a half KMT. And last up, we are going to go to the Amethyst, and this guy is about 4k MT, and again, he's just kind of a glue guy that can do everything, and throwing him at the end of the bench for almost nothing is fine. 
Like he's got Tango, Badges, Cliff Robinson. Really nice release, 6'10. He has got a decent enough post fadeaway. Good shot mid, decent shot three. He's got a great driving and standing dunk as well. He's got decent block shock and SSD rating. He's got decent speed, speed, ball, acceleration, great lateral quickness, and is a solid defender. Just kind of a glue guy that you can throw in at the end of the bench. So, yep, yeah, that is the team. Now let's go on to the highlights. So anyway, that's the video. In my opinion, this is probably the best team you can get for 500 KMT. Sure, you can buy probably a more well-rounded team, but I think that kind of upgrading the likes of Thon Maker, Bamba, Grigliata, and Bruce Bowen, you're gonna get a very, very minimal upgrade. And I think that to upgrade them to anything significant, you'll be push you'll your squad will be pushing a million MT. Like it's very hard to make a significant upgrade between 500k and a million MT to be completely honest with this type of squad. But anyway, yeah, so that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.